It's Wednesday, so wed your eyeballs to the screen for a few minutes to catch up on the tech news. The SD Association unveiled a new specification today called SD Express, so imaginative, which might actually give SATA SSDs a run for their money, if you can believe that. Not only will the new cards be capable of transferring data at nearly one gigabyte per second, thanks to their use of PCI Express and the NVMe protocol, but they can be built in capacities of up to 128 terabytes. That is 32 times larger than the most spacious consumer SSDs today. And although a 128 terabyte SD card might seem like overkill, ever rising video resolutions and the internet of things and AI devices like autonomous cars might mean that we will see gadgets down the road that can take advantage of them. But no word yet, of course, on pricing or availability. Get ready to see some more expensive gaming monitors in the near future though. NVIDIA G-Sync has always been a pricey add-on, but NVIDIA has been rolling out a new version of the G-Sync module that can support HDR. <gasps> Currently, they sit inside two gaming monitors, one from Asus and one from Acer, that go for about $2,000 a pop. And a report from PC Perspective indicates that the likely cost of the HDR compatible module is somewhere around $500, a full one fourth of the retail price of a 4K 120 or 144, depending on who you ask, Hertz monitor. This is a market increase from the $200 that regular G-Sync modules used to cost manufacturers. Speaking of the way things used to be, are you still rocking a phone with just dual back cameras like a chump? thinking, man, this just isn't enough. No. Well, <laughs> no, I'm not. well, you, yes, all dozens of you, might be interested in a phone with five cameras, because why not? A report from Android Police claims that LG's next flagship phone will indeed have this many lenses, possibly with two in the front to enable depth detection for selfies and the like, and then three rear cameras for additional zoom or depth of field functionality. And not to be outdone, their rival Samsung is also looking at a triple rear camera setup for its next top of the line galaxy, according to a report from Korea-based ET News. We are expecting to see this new LG model later this year. And while the galaxy might not arrive until early 2019, I think we can all agree that it's pretty funny that we're talking about a product called the Galaxy from an outlet called ET News. And now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Memory Express. Whether you're a gamer, business owner, or literally anyone else, I mean, we all need technology, right? Memory Express is your go-to destination in Canada for electronic products and services. If it uses electricity, there's a good chance Memory Express carries it. Plus, with Uber Price Beat, they will beat any authorized Canadian retailer's price by 10% of the difference, both in store and online. Check the link below. Chick? That's like click and check. Check the link below for all the details. You heard it here first. Now on to the, the rapid small morsels. The iOS 12 public beta is now available for download. Welcome news for those who wanted to try its plethora of new features without paying $99 for the less polished developer preview. The full version is expected in September, just in time for incredibly vain selfies with a backdrop of fall foliage. If you find yourself in South Korea, don't try to sell video game cheats as one man who sold Overwatch cheats for a total of about 180,000 US dollars. Who is paying for game cheats? He was handed a one year suspended prison sentence and two years of probation. Although this shouldn't be that surprising considering that esports are important enough over there to make up part of the soul of Korea. Oh wow, who wrote this? Don't look at me. <laughs> the state of Florida is creating a position for a so-called cryptocurrency czar. 
in order to figure out how financial laws apply to Bitcoin and other digital currencies. I am the Grand Vizier of crypto. <laughs> and to crack down on schemes involving crypto, given the state's large retiree population, that they feel might be vulnerable to such scams. With all that said, I don't know how much I trust a state government that accidentally made all computers and smartphones illegal a few years back. Your Wi-Fi might be getting a little safer as the Wi-Fi Alliance just rolled out WPA3, the successor to the currently widespread WPA2 security standard that was thought to be quite secure until the crack, that's crack with a K vulnerability, reared its ugly head back in 2016. It also promises a way to choose easy to remember passwords. So that's great news, because I guess I can keep using socks and sandals 6969. And for a bit of potentially disappointing news, a report from Germany claims that some monitor manufacturers are using 4K panels in their 1440p monitors when they're a little short on 1440p panels. Yes! No, this might sound like a good idea. Like, hey, extra Ks, right? But it's actually terrible because it means that when you're running at what you think is the native resolution of your monitor, you are actually going to be like downsampling it, which can cause the entire image to be blurry, especially for text and don't expect to be, be, able, be able to enable 4K functionality somehow because it is locked down in the firmware. Don't you just love not being able to use the things that you don't own or that you do own? I mean, I don't have one of those monitors. I don't own it, but maybe you do. And that's it for today. Join us again on Friday at TGI Fridays for some mozzarella sticks or maybe just here for just tech news. They're unlimited! <laughs> I don't know if they're unlimited. I don't know if they're unlimited either. I've never been to TGI Fridays. <laughs> my, my life doesn't have Friday. <laughs> <laughs>